Welcome. Today we're gonna to give you a tour of my editorial calendar in Notion. I've tried a bunch of stuff, including, um, actually I can show you, it's right here in my notebook for today. I showed this off before, I think. This was an editorial calendar as well. Um, and the truth is it just wasn't working, right? I had to cross out things too many times, move things around too many times, and it just wasn't suiting what I needed to do. Hence, Notion. Um, I've tried lots of other content calendars before. Once you pay for it, they're like specifically for content calendars. And at, none of them just seemed to work or they didn't seem like, I don't know, I just didn't love them, that's it. But Notion had one built in, so let's, let's dive into it. And we're actually looking at the first view, uh, I guess, or the view I operate in most of the time. This is uh, like a Kanban board where I have ideas on the far side down here. Um, ideas on the far side. And then I have um, over here, what's up next? Those are kind of the ones that I've scheduled. Those are on my calendar. I'll show the calendar in a minute. What I need to write still. Uh, what I need to record. So you can see I'm recording the build editorial calendar in Notion. And then book first was what I'll record after this. I already have in progress. That means it is recorded. Um, Boys and Sex which is a book by Peggy Ornston. It's like in this pile right here. You can't see over my shoulder. And here's all the stuff that's completed. Um, this is really where I operate most of the time. So let's look at uh, build editorial calendar in Notion. So this is one issue with an iPad. We're gonna talk a little bit about there are issues with the iPad. So I will show you like I'm clicking with my trackpad here. There we go, double click, got it. Um, and my iPad's actually up out of frame. I'm looking at my 4K monitor. That's one of the problems here is that with the iPad, you have to double click on stuff a lot of the time for trackpad support. Um, often I'd be even reach out for my iPad, although it's like behind the camera at this point. So I'm not going to because <laughs> yeah, that would be a pain in the ass right now. Um, in here I have, you can see, uh, this is where I adjust my status between the idea and progress and all that stuff. Um, where I say this is written, I have a written version of this already. Uh, when I track like the thumbnail, the end screen, monetize, description, post, e email, do I need to put this in an email? So if it's a Monday or a Friday one, uh, then there's also an email that goes to my email list. The record date, which is today, um, that's I'll show you that calendar in a minute and whether it's uploaded. And then yeah, something you can do in a Mac that you can't do here, and I haven't been back to my Mac in a bit, is I can actually drag and drop these to reorder them. So I'd actually rather have like uploaded up higher um, under something else. <laughs> uh, and then I can add properties. These are all properties on cards. And so I could add whatever I wanted here. So some other property, which I'm not going to do, just delete that property, delete. I don't want it. And then you can put comments in here. So for some of my ideas, let's see if I can find one. Again, double click, there we go. Uh, Ergodox maybe? No, I didn't put one in there. It's a keyboard that I would like to buy and review coming up. It's like $500 Canadian. Uh, Loom, I think that's one. Yeah, so there's a video or a link to the build a video intro with Loom, right? This is my idea and a link to the app store on that. And I'll have that so I'll even have like other videos people have done sometimes. Um, oh, I don't know if I can find one right now. So scrolling is a, like harder here. I'm gonna reach over and like I can scroll fairly smoothly right there with my finger. But when I go to small, scroll, two, no, two finger works better. You know, hovering over cards, it doesn't work super well. Um, best VNC, oh, let's try this. That's a problem, right? So normally my iPad's close enough, there you go. So I actually linked to a video on modding the Ant Pro 2 for that one. So one thing you can't do again on iPad is in a Mac, I can actually drag and drop. I can click and drag. You can see it's just highlighting. That doesn't work. And if I even reach over with my finger, well, it does work with your finger. So there you go. It works with my finger, but again, not with the trackpad. So the trackpad support is only okay. Um, all right, so that's kind of the main view that I operate in. Now, I might, I probably would actually operate in some of these other views more often if, double click. Okay, let's we'll go like here at this. And then let's look at the calendar view. This is a default view. And this is again, another issue that I have with Notion for the iPad is that on a Mac, so this is a post coming up and on a Mac, this shows like that whole card view basically that you saw before. 
right? Now it just says play nice in your sandbox at home um, if I click into it, right? And I can look ahead, but I can't see like at a quick visual, like as far as my upcoming content, what is ready, what's not ready, where, what is the state of things, right? You'll see uh, the unread review. I know this is complete. I know my next week is complete. I'm actually working on this right here, I think. Yeah, build editorial calendar in Notion for the 20th and I'm on the 9th. Um, that's one problem. So I could go in here and, you know, edit again, double tap, reach up with my finger. Um, usually my iPad is like right down low where I can just touch it with my left hand because I'm left-handed. Um, but right now I've slid it up out of the way for the video. Um, we'll go back to the editorial calendar. Uh, and so this is what I can see, like where, what's the status of things, right? And I can see I already have things scheduled for the future. Let's bump ahead. I think I already have things scheduled for next month again. Trackpad support, not stellar. There you go, me. So I already have things scheduled into May, right up till May 4th. Let's see, Net Newswire, iOS review on May 4th. So these are all the things that are up next, right? How to inspect your web pages on your iPad. And then what's this book review? So good they can't ignore you. Book review I need to do. Uh, it's shorter, it's already written actually. So I just need to edit it and then record it. So this is the editorial calendar that I use. Uh, now I actually have often um, when I'm really working on content, I bring my iPad down in front of me and I push my monitor back and I will insert a screenshot of what this looks like on Mac OS here. Because you can actually see all the content. I can see in the calendar view the whole card and what I want, which is stellar. And I can't now. So I'm going to reach up and let's go. The other calendar view that I use is the recording schedule. So I record generally on Thursdays. You can see today is Thursday. And I can grab it and I can go book first. This is another one that just lets me know recording. And you build this by, let's see. Yeah, there we go. So uh, I added a new calendar as a new page and I hit calendar by and then I chose the scheduled uh, so I could either do by schedule the date field or record on date field and I chose record on. That lets me pick the days that I'm going to record so I can see on the 16th I'm going to record the best VPN and shorter which is the book review that I've already written and the best VPN thing it will be a summary of some of the, the stuff that I did for the suite setup. I already did a full article in the suite setup about VPNs it'll be linked up above um, if you want to go read that. But I'll be doing a video version of it uh, in the coming weeks as well. And that'll be scheduled out for a future date. Um, that's really my editorial calendar. The problems are iPad support. And that it's only OK. <laughs> it's an OK. And I, I don't actually use a table view at all. It's just a built-in one. Uh, you can see it here. Um, yeah. If you want this type of calendar, what you need to do is you need to go into, let's just say, add a page. Uh, call it test, and then it's content calendar right here, content calendar. And then I added a new page, and it comes up with these. Uh, I can say use, I'm going to kill this one eventually, and then by status, and then I would go in here, oh, I'll just reach over with my finger, deadline publication, great. I can add properties on it, um, let's add the record property. Record. And it is a date now. Why is it doing that? Now it works if I touch with my fingers. Ah, as soon as I scroll, it stops working. So let's just go like that. Date. And there's record. And then I can go back into the content calendar. And you can add a new view under by status. And we can add a view. And we could make it a calendar view. And we can say recording calendar, create. And then we go over here and we're going to calendar by record. And now we would have the, cal the recording calendar set up properly if we wanted that. I actually don't want this page in my Notion stuff. This is, I don't, this is the only thing I use in Notion. I don't use any of the other things that are here. This was just from playing. So we'll delete that entire page and all that content. This was for some other research and the getting started is just their getting started thing. So I've been liking Notion as my content calendar, despite having issues with the iPad. Um, and I've certainly thought about grabbing some old Linux or a Intel Nook or something and sticking up a spare monitor around sticking something up on the wall to have like a full time calendar operating up there so that I could see stuff. I might even aggregate some other things into it, but having like a status board for my content, status board for a calendar. I used to have a New Year N-E-U, Y-E-A-R uh, calendar, big six foot by three foot one up there. And I liked being able to step back and like look at the dates coming up. 
So working out something like that uh, is something I've thought about, but it also seems silly, especially like the iPad has plenty of room here. You can see it has plenty of room to show, to expand the cards out you see in status, in the status view, in this view here, mm, board by status. Like there's plenty of room in that calendar view to see this right here and to be able to operate it and be able to work with it and to be able to see the whole thing. There's no reason that it shouldn't do that, um, but it doesn't. Now, one of the other knocks here is that I Notion has no shortcut support, has no API. Uh, they've talked about it. Like, you know, it's like a post from like a few years ago, like, oh, yeah, we're talking about it. And they haven't done it yet. So you don't get that. Um, and I really, I think that there's no excuse for it. Like, I think their iPad app needs to support full iPad OS features. I'll give it a break on touchpad that just came out a couple weeks back um, for now, for now. But I'm really, they're doing a web view. That's what they're doing. Um, yeah, they're doing a web view instead of having like a proper iPad app. Uh, and this is, that's just Notion. Notion's on the web. There's no proper Mac app. It's like just on the web. You're not using something native that syncs back and forth. You're just using a web view. So that is Notion. That's just what they do. Um, yeah, so that's what I'd like to see from Notion. I'd love to see shortcut support because getting an idea in, I have to open, especially on my 6S plus my old phone, uh, getting in and getting an idea down is a little bit cumbersome um, just because you got to wait for a while for Notion to load. Uh, even shooting screenshots for when I did the written version of this, like shooting screenshots, sometimes at the wait. And it was like, literally I took a screenshot two seconds ago and I'm back to take another one and you're like just pausing for no reason. So I just had to wait and then it would load again. I'd be like, okay, good, now we're back. Um, it also means you don't have offline access really. So yeah, now again, most of the time I'm online, if I'm really offline, I'm not doing anything because I'm not uploading videos. I'm not, I'm not uploading videos on my cell phone. Uh, I'm not uploading videos off something else. So it's okay. Uh, it's the best option I have right now. It's free, which is good. Um, and I think there's a lot to like about it. Some other things you could look at is probably Airtable. Um, if you wanted a free option to look at Airtable and see what it can do content calendar. And I didn't even think about that till just now. So maybe that's something that I will look at in the future and just see. And if I liked it, then I will put up a video. If I think it's a worthy option, I'll put up a video. If I never get back to it, that means I never got back to it. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you love the video, you can subscribe. I guess you'll just hit the bell because that doesn't necessarily give you notifications, but it does let YouTube tell you every time a video comes up. So please watch the videos. I would like it because I'd like it. I don't know why I'd like it. I'd like it because it helps my following get bigger. Tell your friends about it. Tell your friends that I'm stunningly good looking. My kids are cute. And then I talk about some tech stuff sometimes and being a dad in tech. Have a wonderful day.